Hey everyone, welcome back to AT&T U-verse Sports. I'm Rossi Morielli, and today we're talking Notre Dame lacrosse. So the coaches are finishing up their final tweaks, and the players are making their last-minute preparations as they prepare to do battle with their longtime rival, the Ohio State Buckeyes. Every single day has to be the national championship, and, and I think that it's something that you have to kind of sustain. It's tough because seasons are long, there's a ton of energy, but at the end of the day, this is a team that can do that. And if every day is in your national championship where you're giving your best effort, then we're not going to be where we want to be at the end of the year. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're still in the early part of the season. I mean, we've got a lot of, of development, I hope, you know, going on. You're late! Why are you late? Do it again! You stepped off! One step, that's all it takes! No, no, no! Get out! 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 You guys don't want to practice today? Get out! Go! Now bring it up! They're not going to say, hey, Seth, on Wednesday, we'll put 10 more minutes on the clock so Notre Dame can get ready. You know, you, you have those days. We just had two days off, um, and we had a great week of practice before that, and I think we came back from those two days off, and there was a feeling of um, arrogance and things like that. And I think Coach, I guess, started to sense that, um, and we didn't have a great practice yesterday. Kids were throwing the ball around a little bit, and Coach kicked us off the field. He just had a practice. It was, it was a bad day. We, we, were, we were not good. I don't think we had... Uh, I don't think we had great intensity from the beginning, and I don't think it, our mental acuity was where it needed to be. Sometimes those things have to happen. Just don't want to catch the shrapnel. Our next game is against Ohio State. That's a home game. It's going to be outdoors, and they're a great team. Uh, we always have close battles against them. Uh, I think they're 20th in the country right now. So it'll be a pretty dangerous opponent. You know, Ohio State's a very athletic team. They're very big, strong, athletic kids. And they're big, you know, they're loud, they're, they're in your face, and we're kind of the quiet, we just go about our business. Ohio State talks a lot of crap. They are, uh, I guess, a high energy team that kind of thrives off big hits. Their team, you know, we know very well, um, and they know us very well. We don't like each other whatsoever. The dynamic between that, really plays out and it's fun to, there's a, there's a little bit of a feud there. Play hard and we'll let the scoreboard do the talking. Do it again! And then he comes at you, you're going to be in the way. So you got to start up here. What else? Last couple of Games we've had some injuries. Kevin Ridgeway got injured in practice the other day. It doesn't look like he's going to play in Ohio State. I may or may not. Um, it's up to Mandy. So she's the letter of the law to follow her instructions. Yeah, we're just trying to find a way that works for him that takes away his pain. Good there. Try to drive down. You okay? It looks better. It's tough to sit on the sidelines before games and not play that much, and then when your name called to go in there and not try and force anything. You know, injuries are are inevitable. Can you come back faster? There's a little twinge, but it's... It'll be there. Yeah, it's younger guys, guys like lower, lower on the depth chart just got to step up. Welcome to Irish Men's Lacrosse and Arlotta Stadium for today's game between the Ohio State Buckeyes and your University of Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Walking up for a game is always fun when you're a Notre Dame lacrosse player. But that is just when you hear those bagpipes start playing, you know it's ready to go on the field. That's probably when like the tipping point of when you know like this is starting, like the game's getting going. Bagpipes is a little something extra. It's something unique that our team has that no one else has. That when you know, when we come on the field, like people know it's Notre Dame lacrosse. It's it's pretty cool coming out behind those. It's not going to be fun, but you got to support the guys who are out there. But that's what the team's for. Yeah, our, our guys have no dog in them. They work hard every day. They, they play hard. They work hard every day. Quarterback, move, move, move. Come on, keep it moving. Make it work. Here we go, Jack. Let's bounce. 
Make them work, come on, come on. They're gonna get tired, keep it hot. And Ty Redman, set yourself. High, Ty, high, Ty. Well, when Andrew went down in the Ohio State game chasing a ground ball like he always does, uh, I, uh, I was a little bit concerned sitting in the stands. He was laying there and looking at it. I, I was worried. And yet, uh, when I saw what they were doing and he got up and he walked off, I knew he would be fine. Cam has to go. They're not giving you anything. They're playing defense. Take it, take it easy, take it easy. We're gonna go halo other side, halo other side. 30 seconds. I think the expectation, particularly at Notre Dame, is always a national championship. So, but we don't, you know, we throw that out there early. We put that out there in recruiting. And we put that out there at the first practice. There's always goals, but but goals are a funny thing. There, there's broad goals and there's specific goals, and we always want to win every game. I mean, I think that's your goal every year. Um, we had a taste of it last year, and as Will Ferrell says, once it hits your lips. Tastes so good. <laughs> I don't think any of us uh, are going to walk out of here without a ring on our finger. There's a lot of work to be done, and there's a lot of a lot of things that can happen, and um, it's it's a ride. It's kind of a journey, and you never know what's kind of around the next turn. Uh, that's the big picture. That's on the horizon. But mostly, we talk about what are we doing this day to get better. Things are looking great for the Notre Dame lacrosse team. They're undefeated, they're ranked number one in the country, and I know it's a long road, but they've got a great shot of heading back in the NCAA championship game. We wish them all the luck in the world. Well, sounds like that's about all the time we have here for AT&T Universe Sports. I'm sure you can now see why lacrosse is one of the fastest growing sports in America. It's great, I'm loving it. Well, thanks for watching guys, I'm Rossi Morielli, we'll see you next time.